President Barack Obama came to America's space gateway to promise its workforce a new beginning. Even though the shuttle program's about to end and he just grounded its successor mission to the moon. I am 100% committed to the mission of NASA and its future. NASA's Constellation program was to have picked up from the shuttle and International Space Station with new missions to the moon and eventually Mars. But Constellation was hugely late and over budget and two months ago Obama scrubbed it as mission impossible. Astronaut heroes like Neil Armstrong warned Obama's forfeiting America's space leadership, while Space Coast workers and lawmakers saw a huge blow to Florida's economy. But Obama told NASA his new course will create more jobs and reach higher. The point is what we're looking for is not just to continue on the same path, we want to leap into the future. His plan retains Constellation's Orion space capsule, uses commercial rockets to send it to a space station that's kept open, and hastens work on a new heavy lift rocket for manned flights to the asteroids and beyond. By the mid-2030s, I believe we can send humans to orbit Mars and return them safely to Earth. TV's Bill Nye, the science guy, thinks that's the way to go. The next place for humans is Mars. That's all there is to it. Yet Obama's outline is just that, with details on where, when, and how to fly still TBD. The president maintains his blueprint gives NASA an exciting new future. Yet many here in this historic space complex will need to find work elsewhere. And fans of the nation's space program are wondering if the glory days of American daring do beyond Earth orbit will ever return. Mark Smith, the Associated Press at the Kennedy Space Center.